Hello, this is Barry here, and we are going to do the puzzles now. And this is where you get all the tricks bundled together, so you don't know which one's coming up. And that's the way to do it. Right, here we go. This is the climax of what we've been doing. First trick, mixed up gels for sports people. Mixed up gels for sports people. Now, the thing is, you pause the video and you solve that one and come back and see and check what I've done. Okay, you've got it solved, no doubt. Well, let's look at the clue. We know we have seven flag, seven spaces and no givens being the first one. So look, let's look at the clue and we can see a possible flag here for an anagram. Right, okay, we'll just mark that as a possibility. Now, let's see, let's look at the clue. If that is, in fact, a flag, then down here would be the key. Usually they're opposite ends, they're not always, but usually at opposite ends. So, 90, 95% of the time they're at opposite ends. So, sports people, who are sports people? Now, all you have to do now is get a synonym for sports people, and, of course, you get an aid from this anagram flag because there's going to be seven letters in it in the anagram and there's seven letters there in gels four so we we'll mark that as the fodder and just simply anagram gels four if you haven't got an answer for gel for sports people you'll soon get one because if you anagram gels four you're going to get golfers there we have it okay so that was simply an anagram notice how you can use the fact that you know it's an anagram, or you think it's an anagram, to help you get your answer, help you work out what the synonym is for the key. Righto, next one. Uh, which one are we going to do now? Well, I'd suggest uh, one down. Maybe an easier one. This one here. What's that one? Now, notice how I've got these numbers arranged. 3, 13, 24, because there are three downs. There's one there, this is 13, being the second one down. Underneath that is 24 down. Okay, that's how I've got them arranged. Have to do that. Right, so let's look at three down. Three down is only half of surgeons last this long. Four spaces starting with an E. Okay, over to you. Pause and solve. Okay, back again. You've got it solved. Let's look at the clue now. Only half of surges last this long. Well, let's see. Uh, possible flags. Well, only half looks like an emission flag to me. Well, we're taking half of a word somewhere. If that is, in fact, the flag, then down here is probably going to be the key long, uh, or this long, whatever, one of those two. We'll underline them both, see how we go. Okay, next. So we try to get a, a, a synonym for this long, this long. This long could be a piece of string, could be time. Let's get a clue from our flags. Only half of, see it's going to be an omission, so uh, if we're looking at a surgeon as an omission, well, I'm eating half of it. <laughs> and also, by the way, another flag that I think last looks like the last trick. So there's two flags there. So omit half and looks like it's the last part you want. So there it is there. The last part is eons, isn't it? So is that long? Of course it is. It's a long time. This long. So oh, that's the answer. No doubt about it. So three down is eons. Fits in with what we've got, of course, because we know it starts with E and has four letters. Can't go wrong. Eons, I think we've proved it. And we uh, should be happy with all that. There's an omission and a last trick. Okay, where's the next one? Well, let's do one down. Okay, one down. Oops. One down is down here. 
Did I miss the down, did I? There it is. There's a down, and one down is G. Actress Dorothy has charm and allure. Seven spaces, and we have a starting letter, G. There it is. Let's do that one. Pause and solve. Okay, back again. Let's see. Let's look at the clue. G, actress Dorothy, has charm and allure. Well, what have we got? Any flags there? Has is a possible charade flag. Not quite sure, but it could be. Could be. If we're going to be a charade, what, what are we going to charade? And where's the key? Well, G won't be the key. I, I can't think of a synonym for G as a key. So I'd say charm and allure. That looks like the key. Let's work out. This is po all thinking possibilities. What's a synonym for charm and allure? One down, starting with a G. Charm and allure is... If you've got charm, and if a woman has charm and allure, then she has, yes, she has glamour, no doubt about it. Glamour is the answer there. How do we get this? Well, because possibly seeing, seeing as no flag or a possible charade flag, oh, I bet my bottom dollar this is a charade. So there we have it, those two. G abbreviates to G. Where's this? We've got the G there. Where's this uh, actress Dorothy? Who is that? Some of you may remember Dorothy Lamore, the screen siren from way back. Lamore, Lamore, the old men used to say. Anyway, I wasn't one of them, of course. But anyway, G. Lamore gives you glamour. End of story. All proved it's a charade. Okay, next one. What are we going to do now? Well, we can go across from 10 would be a good one. Okay, 10 across. 10 across. Here we go. Oh, friend. Oh, friend. What a gem. Oh, friend. What a gem. And we have, we have four spaces with an O starting. Okay, over to you. Pause and solve. Okay, back again, all solved. Let's hope so. Right, now we have, looking at the clue for spaces, of course. Now, I can't see a flag there, so it's possibly going to be a charade, a double key, a literal or a lateral. Well, let's see the key. Oh, friend, I don't think that's going to be a flag oh, oh friend so i would say the flags at these sorry i don't think it's going to be a key but i think the key therefore will be down this end gem all right we'll go with that a gem give me a synonym for a gem a gem four letters with an o i think that's not too hard is it a gem four letters with an o is obviously going to be an opal right okay how do we get that well, there's the O, and friend is pal. This is uh, those two separate fodders. Charade it together. You get O, pal, which is opal. It's a charade. I think, end of story, we've proved it. Okay, next one. Uh, what are we going to do? Oh, how about uh, four down? Oh, while we're on the across, 15 across looks all right. 15 across. Here we go. Ramaging trio. Switch gin cocktail. Rampaging trio switch gin cocktail. And we have, uh, we have, uh, what? Seven spaces. And there they are there. Seven spaces. Right, over to you. Pause and solve. Okay, back again. All solved happily. Let's see the clue now. Flags. Oh, now rampaging could be an anagram flag. A uh, switch could be an anagram flag. A uh, cocktail could be an anagram flag. See, you don't know at this stage which is which. Well, let's see. Uh, Rebusing trio. Well, we'll go. With, we're looking for a key, essentially. Let's try the first one. You always start at the front and if you can't do anything else. Right, we'll try rambaging for the key. What's rambaging mean? 
rampaging. Who, who does rampaging? Not well, one person doesn't rampage, usually a crowd. Rampaging, rampaging, rampaging. Uh, what's another word for rampaging? Uh, rampaging through the streets is rioting. Well, it's rioting, isn't it? Rioting, and that fits with the R. So rioting, I reckon rioting is the answer. Fits there nicely. How do we get it? Well, how do we get it? Uh, trio and gin switch. If that is, in fact, an anagram flag switched, then uh, you can see how the gin and trio, if you put them together and anagram them, you'll get rioting, won't you? So what's this cocktail? Uh, well, I suppose, oh, cocktail must be an the anagram of gin. Yes, so you anagram gin. There's two two flags there for anagrams. Switch anagrams trio, cocktail anagrams gin, and then you charade them together. So you have a charade and an anagram. Two anagrams, actually. But we just put down one. I think we've proved that one all right. Well done. Okay, next one. Where are we going now? Oh, look, this looks like a good one here. This is uh, four down. All right, four down. Here we go. Placing down on location. Placing down on location. Okay, seven spaces. And we have a first and last letter, S and G. That G indicates to me that placing is going to be the key because it's an ING word, and that looks like an ING word too. I reckon that's going to be a... Uh, well, maybe, maybe it could be the key. Okay, over to you. Pause and solve. Okay, back again. All happy and solved. Let's see. Placing down. What's, where's the key? Is it placing down or is it on location? There's no flag there. So it could be a charade, could be a double key, could be a literal, could be a lateral. I think in this case I can see two possible keys. Placing down could be a key, so it could be a double key, uh, on, and location looks like it could be a key. There's no no other flag there, right? Placing uh, placing down. Give me a synonym for either one. Placing down. Give me a synonym for location. A location. If you're in a movie, a location is a setting, isn't it? That looks pretty good. So I think it was a four, because I can see the S and the G there. That's what gave me the clue towards setting. And that's setting, and that's location. Is that placing it down? Oh, of course it is. Setting something down is placing it. So it's a double key. Okay, end of story. Okay, next one. That looks like an easy one. What's that? That's, uh, that's according to this. is the second one across. 11 across. 11 across. We have five spaces, 11 across, up to here, 11 across, here we have it, five spaces, nine Romans inside, die for southern jazz. Okay, have a go, pause and solve. Okay, all solved, back again. Here we go, let's see, flags. Nine or oh, nine Romans. That's going to be a, an abbreviation, I would think. Nine Romans. That's I X, isn't it? Uh, or inside. That looks like being a container flag. Something inside something. And so uh, all this is happening up at the front. Southern jazz is going to be the key. No doubt about that. All right. So a container. Nine Romans inside. Must be inside die. So that'll be the other fodder. If, if the IX is inside die, do you, you get Southern Jazz. And Southern Jazz is, of course, yes, yeah, Southern Jazz is. We all know what Southern Jazz is. It's Dixie, Dixie. And notice here, there's the nine Romans there, inside die. See it? See the IX inside die? That's a container. All right, there we have it. Answer is container. Right, all happy with that? Next one, let's for a short one if we can. There's a short one, that one there. What's that? That's uh, 13 down. 13 down, 
13 down, we have Al supports Parter Fish being the last. Five spaces with an I second. Okay, pause and solve. Okay, all solved. Here we go. Let's look at the clue. L support. Supports could be a charade flag. Something supports something. Could be a charade flag. Uh, part of fish. Well, it could be, uh, yeah, part of fish. Part of fish. It could be an omission. Could be. Balls are, is the whole thing, part of fish. But anyway, if that's, I think the key's going to be down here, being the last. I, I thought I, for a while last might be a flag, but it doesn't have to be a flag every time. So I think it's opposite end from all this. I reckon that's probably the key. What's the last? What's the, it could be the last too, of course. You don't know. It could be last or the last. What's the last? The last is uh, the last match is the oh, last match is the final match. That's what that is. Thirteen. All right, here's thirteen. Where are we? Over here. Thirteen down. We're doing. Last, yeah, there's the final match. It fits in there nicely. Final. How do you get that? Well, let's see. L. If L, you can see the L in there. There's the L down here. L supports part of fish. And that is, of course, is this top part, which is a fin. So L supports fin. That's it. I think we've got the whole thing done. L supports fin. All right, so L supports fin is final. And that's a charade. End of story. All done. Happy with that? Okay, where's the next one? We have a go at nine across. We've got three letters now. It should make it easier. Nine across. Nine across. We're going to do this one here. Nine across. Okay. Here we go. Being opposed to corn, rye or wheat gets you rubbed up the wrong way. We have seven, three and five. Three words. Over to you. Pause and solve. Okay. All solved. How did you go? Nine across, being opposed to corn, right or wheat. Well, get you rubbed up the wrong way. Let's see. Flags. Hmm. Wrong way. Is going to be a flag? Reversal? Maybe. Maybe. Don't know. Uh, being opposed to... It's a bit long, isn't it? It looks like there's going to be... Surely there's going to be different fodder here to... Add in somewhere. Well, we'll have to just have a go at it. Now, uh, being opposed to, let's try that for the key. Being opposed to, what's being opposed to? You're against, aren't you? You're, oh, look at this, you've got an against there. But it's not the whole thing. Uh, well, that means it's probably a, probably a fodder. It's probably part of it. That looks like an against. Against there. So that's, uh, that's a fodder, I'd say, because it's part of the answer. Well, that's one way to one way to look at it, isn't it? We just got a part of the answers jumping out at us. So that's going to be a fodder being opposed to. So that's one fodder. And the other one must be uh, and therefore the key would be down here. Gets you rubbed up the wrong way, maybe. Gets you rubbed up the wrong way. Right oh. And that will be the other fodder down here. Uh, corn, rye or wheat, no doubt. That'll be all one fodder, I think. So, now, rubbed up the wrong way. If you're rubbed up the wrong way, if something rubs, rub, rubs you up the wrong way, then what, what's happened? Well, well, yeah, lots of answers possible there. Against, though, against, uh, against what? Seven, three. Three letters could be the. Oh, well, I think that's what it is. I think it's against the, against the what? Against the, if something's rubbed up the wrong way, then it goes against the, against the grain, isn't it? Against the grain. Well, let's see. Can we get it all here? Uh, nine across. Corn, rye, wheat is grain, isn't it? 
it's the grain. So this is against, and that's the grain. So it's against the grain. It is a charade. Okay, no worries. We have a charade on our hands. I'll run this, blacken that all up. And we have the answer. Happy with that? Okay, it was a long one. But when you see three letters, it's possibly going to be Z or and or some letter, some word like that. All right, let's look at that. Oh, that's a long one. Two down. Look at the size of that. But we do have four letters. And that's a good start. Two down. How did twins, spies, and stunt doubles live to mention their separate identities? How did they live to mention their separate identities? 4164. All right, now two, two down. There it is there. There's all the, uh, there's all the, uh, oops, we've got too much there. I do it a bit at a time. That part there and this part here. So if we have, um, L, A, and O, can't do all this in one go. I'll do a bit of it just to so I can find it in a hurry. Oh, that's, didn't mean to do that. Ah, I think we got the answers. What a shame. That was an accident. All right, let's put it back. Uh, I can't know much about it now. It's there. All right, so what is the answer? Lead a double life. Lead a double, well, looks like life anyway. Lead a double life. I don't like to show the answers before you have a chance to do it, but it looks like I uh, inadvertently did it there. Lead a double life for two down. And uh, looking at this, you can see this, the four, one. Whenever you see one, you put in A, because that's the only word. There's one letter, as far as I can think. Lead A. Double life and twin spies and does that make sense? Twin spies and doubles live to mention their separate identities. If you're going to be able to mention your separate identity to somebody, you have to lead a double life. Yes, you have to. All right, that's fair enough. I can understand that. I wish we'd had a go at that instead because that would have made you think a bit. That one. All right. Okay. Right. Oh, there it is. Twin spies and stunt doubles. And, of course, it was a pun. I didn't even say that to you. Geez, I'm falling down, aren't I? There's a question mark, possible pun, which means there's no other flag. That's it. But you don't see a flag except a question mark. Then, of course, it's a pun. Okay? Right. Right, what else have we got? Uh, what else are we going to do? Here's one here. 17 across. What's that? 17 across. Video cam bricklayer. Hiding fine white linen. Video cam bricklayer. Hiding fine white linen. And there it is there. I'll mark that here. No, I won't. This time I won't shade it. <laughs> right. Video cam bricklayer. Hiding fine white linen. Seven spaces. Pause and solve. Okay. Back again. All solved. Let's look at, look at the clue now. We have video cam bricklayer hiding. Now, hiding to me looks like it could be a hidden flag, indicating that something is hidden in the text, in the easy ones. Hidden, hiding, or oh, hiding, fine, what? Right so what's hiding? Where's the key? Well, uh, let's see. Is a video cam, is that the key? Video cam, uh, to video cam, photograph. Or oh, is it fine white linen? What's a fine white linen? Let's see, we've got 70. We've got a B and an A. Uh, fine white linen. A fine white linen, I think, because I can, uh, I can see a possible set of them there. A fine white linen. I think that's going to be the key. Fine white linen, only because I can see a possible key. Uh, fine white linen is a... Uh, um, actually, I think I want the wrong one here. This is 17 across. What I was thinking of isn't going to fit anyway. I'll have to go. That's 17 down we're looking at. That's in the down. All right, we better go back to 17 across. That's what we're after. 17 across. Oh, there it is. 
Uh, taxi takes bag of first exotic vegetables. That's 17 across, and that's this one here. Yeah, I didn't have that right. Okay, here we go. Uh, seven spaces with a B and an A. Over to you. Pause and solve. Okay, how'd you go? Solve it? Righto, let's look at the clue. Taxi takes. Takes, is that going to be a charade flag? By gee, it could be a charade flag. Something takes something. Not marked there, but I, I think... I think that's going to be a charade flag. And it looks like two things there, taxi and bag. If that's the case, then exotic vegetable, or maybe a vegetable, is the key. What's a vegetable? A vegetable, seven, oh, yeah, you can see a vegetable there, can't you? Vegetable is cabbage, isn't it? Looks pretty obvious, a cabbage. How do we get that, though? Taxi takes bag of first exotic vegetable. Well, taxi is a cab, isn't it? And bag is your bag. That's a cab and bag. Not enough. There's C A B B A G. Could be an E. Oh, first, oh, I didn't even see the first. Look, there's a possible flag. Well, there's a flag first. First exotic is E, isn't it? So first exotic is E. Well, there it is. There's your cab, bag, E, which is cabbage. It's all there together. And I'll mark that. There's your E there, see? There's your E. I'll mark that in red so you can see it. And there's your cab and your bag. That's coming directly out. Cab, bag, E is cabbage. That's it. It's your first trick and a charade trick. There it is, cabbage. Okay, righto. Next one. Where's the next one going to be? Oh, look, at is a short one here. 21 across. Make sure we got across this time. 21 across. Humble meerkat dispatches rat. All right, over to you. Pause and solve. Okay, back again. We have dispatches as a possible flag for an omission. Dispatches, that means get rid of, you know. So it's an omission, I think. Right, dispatches. Dispatches rat, maybe. Well, I think that's... Pretty close to a rat. I think that could be the fodder there. Humble. Maybe humble. Maybe hum we'll try humble anyway for the key. See how we go. What's humble? Humble is, and uh, 21 across. Humble is. What's humble? Four letters. Humble is. Oh, humble is. Meek. You're meek and mild. Right, okay, so meek. All right, I think we've got the answer. Uh, meek. That's what you should always do. Go for the... Answer if you can get it. So humble, that's meek. But prove it now. Dispatch is rat. If you omit rat from something, or oh, omit rat from here, there's a meerkat. If you omit rat from meerkat, what do you get? Omit mat rat. <laughs> omit rat from meerkat, and you get the the M double E. There's the M double E part. That's there. And omit uh, the rat. So you got the K left behind that's left if you omit rat you're left with the meek and that's an omission flag an omission trick and i think we have it all right omission that's it happy with that this batch is rat rat of course is part of your fodder that's the other fodder that's taken out of that okay happy with that one now our next one is what's this one down, so that's a short one. That's 17 down. All right, 17 down. Come down here. 17 down. Video cam bricklayer. Oh, that's the one we were looking at before. I thought I had an answer to that too, except it didn't fit. Like, ah, oh, it's going to fit this one. Right, uh, fine white linen. I think I'm right with the fine white linen. Yes. Can you see? Oh, over to you. Pause and solve. Okay, did you get it? What's a fine white linen? A fine white linen to fit that is cambric. If you know what, you know, it's one of those things you may not know, cambric. All right, a fine white linen. So how do we get it? Video cam, there's a cam there. Video cam. Oh, it's hiding. So it's a hiding, it's a hidden trick. So the whole answer is going to be hidden in there. Here we go. Let's see if we can find cambric. There is C-A-M-C-A-M-B-R-I-C. 
there's your cambric. Whole thing is hiding there. And that's how hidden tricks work. There's the answer inside there. Of course, with the harder ones, this would be a, uh, a synonym that you've got to find the answer to. But anyway, that's that's fair enough. That's easy. Hiding the, the actual words in the text hide the answer. Good. Next one. Well, we go for 27 across, shall we? 27 across. It's got a couple of letters in there. 27 across. Red mace pounded and made smooth. Red mace pounded and made smooth. Over to you. Pause and solve. Okay, get an answer. Now, 27 across. You see two letters, C and an E there. And red mace has got a C and an E. Oh, I'm tending to think that's going to be the fodder. So I reckon this is going to be the key. Made smooth. What's made smooth? You want a road or a, a, a porridge? Or, uh, if you made something smooth. Pounded looks like the key. That looks like a flag for an anagram, I think. Yeah, I'd say it's an anagram flag. And I reckon looking at all this, that uh, red mace is going to be the fodder that you're going to make smooth by pounding. <laughs> right. So, because there's a C and the E. So, let's see. Made smooth. If you, if what you have done in the kitchen is, is you made something smooth, then you have, yes, you have, you can see it there, creamed it, C-R-E-A-M-E-D, creamed. So, there's the answer, creamed. Okay, I think we're happy with that. Creamed. And that's an anagram of red mace. So, it's simply an anagram. Okay, done. Well, we're going pretty well. What else we got? What else can we do now? Uh, well, we could do... Uh, this is a short one. This is what? This is the bottom one. 24 down. 24 down. 24 down. Went for a dip in endless swamp. Went for a dip in endless swamp. Uh, four spaces, and uh, we have the last letter is M. Okay, over to you. Right, went for a dip in endless swamp. Pause and solve. Okay, got an answer. Um, endless swamp. Endless looks like a, a flag for uh, extreme or end or last one of those, uh, referring to which we don't know. All right, let's look for a key then. Uh, went for a dip. If you went for a dip, what did you do? If you went for a dip, you... Oh, yeah, well, look, look at this too. So you always look at this as... Well, if you went for a dip, you swam. So endless, that goes well. Yes, that's an easy one. 24 across, 24 down, rather. 24 down is here. And there it is there. Went for a dip is swam. That was, this is good to pick the small ones with a letter there. You can jump on them straight away. So there it is. Went for a dip is a mission or a, or a last or one of those things. But generally speaking, it's an omission. You've taken the last bit off here and you're left with a swam. And that's the way it worked. Okay, I'll just read it for you so you can see it. There's the swam there. Of course, this should have uh, fodder things outside it, and uh, it probably has. I just didn't do it, which I should have done. All right. So there it is. Okay. Any more to do? Short ones? Nice, short, easy ones? Well, this one down here looks uh, it's a bit shorter. It's got two letters too, which is good. What's that? That's 18 down. 18 down. Took pleasure and joy to removing top coat in the end. All right, pause and solve. Okay, back again. Flags. Uh, took pleasure in. Is that a. Although it took pleasure, it looks like it's a probably a complete thing there. Well, what else we got? Removing. That's going to be an omission flag, I think. I think. Omission flag. Top, top, top. Is that going to be a first flag? I'd say it's a first flag, first letter of something, uh, in the end, or oh, in the end, in, there's an end, 
which could be a uh, container flag or a hidden flag. All right, so I think that could be a fodder there for it too. So I think took pleasure in is going to be the key. Took pleasure in. Give me a synonym for took pleasure in. If you took pleasure in something, what did you do? And don't forget, we have a big help here because it starts with E and it finishes with D. So if you took pleasure in it, you simply, yes, you enjoyed it, didn't you? Enjoyed it. So that's uh, 18 down. And let's look, let's look here. How do we get it? Well, you can see how we get it. Let's mark all that in. You can see how we get it because if you take look at Joyce, Joyce removing top coat. Top coat? What's top coat? Well, top coat is a C. See, so that's the first part of coat. That's what you're going to remove. You're going to remove that C. I won't mark it red because it's not going to be in the answer. It's going to be out of the answer. Remove the top coat. And so what do you got left? If you take the C out, you're left with the, uh, the uh, J-O-Y. And you're left, well, that didn't come up, did it? I should have. J O Y. There it is. And the left and the E, of course. You still, still got the E. So those two things are there. So J A Y E. So it took pleasure in Joyce, which is. So now it's Joy, J O Y E. Removing top cap. We've done that. In the end. So it's going to be inside the end. Contained in the end. So J O Y E inside end, and now you're just going to go in after the N. E N J O Y E D. There's the enjoyed emission first and container. Well, did you like that? That was a good one, wasn't it? All right, and we'll break it here and come back for the second light later. Okay, I hope you're enjoying it.